So here I am at Barnes & Noble. We're going to take a look at their CD selection. Which I think is better than Walmarts, Targets, and Big Lots. Which I've done videos for those already, so if you have not seen those, definitely check them out. So, we got some Aerosmith here it looks like. Avenged Sevenfold, Adele. Um, who else? ABBA, not really into them. Alice in Chains. Yeah, I mean, pretty decent selection, I'd say. So, let's see if we got any Led Zeppelin. Yes, we do. We have the debut, Led Zeppelin 2. And some other stuff. We got a Linkin Park CD here. Let's see what else we got. Got some Van Halen. Best of both worlds. 5150, the debut, 1984. Also got Tools, last album. Let's see here. Yeah, we do have some Yes. Really good band. So yeah, we got Pearl Jam, Pink Floyd. Not really into those bands, but they're okay. Same with Nirvana. I kind of feel the same way about them. There's Nickelback, which I'm sure a lot of you already know my thoughts. Uh, let's see what else. Got Deep Purple, Eminem. So, yeah, I mean, I'd say it's a decent selection. I mean, not the greatest in the world, but it's decent overall. I mean, I would definitely say it's good if you are someone who is just now collecting CDs, like you're new to CD collecting, you have nothing in your collection, I would say Barnes & Noble is decent for that, for starting collecting CDs. Now one of the things that I noticed was over here, you have this sign here that says Metallica, get them all. You do have the majority of Metallica's albums right here which is very cool. I mean, obviously there's still some missing, but of course they have their latest album, 72 Seasons. And you of course have their classics here like uh, Master of Puppets and Ride the Lightning. So yeah, overall it's okay. It's an okay selection. So yeah, I mean, like I said, it's better than the selections for Target and Walmart. So overall, I'd say the selection is decent.